About six weeks ago, Russia dropped a bomb on my house. Two men were severely wounded and our cats were killed, two cats, lovely cats. Um, it was a miracle. Had it come 10 meters forward and hit the concrete, we're not here. But after a heavy rain, it hit the soft soil and the S-300 missile, it lodged itself 15 meters into the ground before exploding. As a result, we're all alive. But the man you meet in the video, who I've worked with, um, he's been the most inspirational character I've met in the war so far. He never wanted war. Uh, prior to February 24th, he was a plumber, a self-employed plumber, with a beautiful daughter, a beautiful wife, and had everything going for him. And about a month or two into the war, he purchased with his own money $3,000 a thermal scope, which he calls Grand Theft Auto on cheap mode. I was intrigued. I spent 24,000 euros of your money on the first purchase of three night vision binoculars for going to work. I've used them in the M113. They're using them now and it's amazing. The thermoscopes, I can't speak from personal experience yet. I've since purchased six more night vision. I can give them to assets, M113s, BMPs. The thermal scopes, there's more consideration to give them to the right people, like Maxine. But no, I've done that, we've done this. Regardless of what anybody says, I know this to be true. It's not Ukraine down to the units policy, the company, maybe the nation. It's not our policy to take ground. We don't have the men or resources to do that. Our policy is to kill as many of the enemy as possible. If you want to come forward, you will pay. No, I, I can tell you that Ukraine's doing this very well. Well, I'll try that generator later. Right there last night, I ran my first IV ever in the dark, in the glass. I didn't occlude properly, so there was more blood than there certainly needed to be, but it was a good 18 gauge line. Fuck, how does the dirt fly? <laughs> How did you get there? Try it from another angle. Right, so only the first three thermals arrived. Uh, we've had to give out two in a hurry to hopefully very capable men. But uh, today I'm gonna learn the applications, thanks to Maxime, uh, on AK, SVD, Dragunov, and machine gun. There's many, many different thermals out there. And this is just the beginning of my learning uh, so we can get better and better and teach it and make even better purchases in the future. Should be fun. It's good for you? Yes. It's 59s, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Well, Merry Christmas. This is the way. First you have to play. Always. Uh-huh. chain breaks. 
No, no, this, this is wrong. No, but NATO chain, it breaks. It is. Because we are rich countries. Plastic. No, no. We have, I have plastic I brought with my Predator uh, um, backpack. Usually you have to shoot this inside of the inside of the bunker or some you know of course in the in tunnel in tunnel but tunnel you know you should get a veteran in the front of you we don't have such things Right onto the up. Low yes. detailing, low detail. You will look mine, and after you will look. You will understand me. A good fine Soviet automobile. I wonder what that was. Maybe it was a, a gigolo like Max and Pasha or Starsky. Motherfucker Maxi. I invented the word motherfucker. I am like Prince Motherfucker Donbass. Prince Donbass? Yak, yak Prince Motherfucker Donbass. Okay. Bombim Bombass. <laughs> He's the best. Uh, you are the best. Of course. Every every, every Ukrainian man is the best. No, Maxim. No, Maxim Dobre. Maxim plus minus. No, no, Maxim very very good. He's good man. Good man. Good man. Maxim good man. No Huila. Prince Poltava. Tverecki Poltava. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Verk is up. Up, up. Down is. Nes. Nes. Ver, nes, prava, leva. Brandon Smart. <laughs> Brandon, very good. Brandon Smart. Razan do Peramoy. Putin Huilo. Huilo, Anastasia. Piedras. <laughs> This one is Czech, yes? I used to have a Czech girl, and uh, she was very, very good too. Посмотреть. Very reliable. This is your happy gun. Yes. Lucky, lucky one. My lucky gun. Very inert inertial. Mm -hmm. That's why it's easy to shoot. You don't have that much blowback. Far better resolution. Yes, and resistance. And resistance. But what is the problem we're having with uh, SVD? The scope? The scope. No, that's a конечно поярче. A lot of money to spend. You have to get it. You have to get it right. Uh, we will. We will. But actually, it's not half our scope because I didn't buy the scope. I bought this one. Uh, firing. It's uh, tracer and tracer. armor piercing. No, no, not tracer. Tracer is tracing, and fireball is they burn. So this burns. Yes. When armor it gets piercing and burning. Right. So, not this mount, but very, very similar. This will enable the thermal to be used at night. 
without need to detach uh, to make use of the iron sights. This is 2,400 grivna for this mount, I believe, uh, or very similar to it, which Maxim suggests. And I believe this to be a 25 mil thermal. Um, 19s or 25s, that's the question. And there. Yes. Go. You see? Yeah. This one is perfect. It's it's doing its job perfectly. Yes. It's, it's more than 400. It's nearly 450 meters. Yes. One and a half, two kilometers. You can see a human being. Yes, I've made uh, over that forest. It's 800 kilometers. 800 meters? Yeah, 800, 800, 800 meters. Yes. Uh, I shoot it five times, single shot. I made single shots five times, and uh, I uh, hit the target five times, shot after shot. Is it your point, or it's not just some kind of warm uh, thing, or it's a fire, of, or it's um, some burning site, or it's a vehicle that is burning? or just a uh, warm surface, it will always show you uh, the target, the human target. As I want to explain, uh, the good thermoscope will show you in three, four hundred meters a sniper that is lying under the cover in, in a summer, in a daytime, when it's 35 degrees above it can detect uh, a sniper. You will never see him uh, with your eyes, but the scope, thermoscope can can do this job. So uh, with a the thermoscope, it's much easier to hold the grounds, it's much easier to detect enemy, and it's much uh, easier to save uh, lives of your comrades. I think every soldier need to have a thermoscope. On RPG-7, uh, people use scopes. For example, when you work uh, on a groups of enemy in a bush, in a forest, on a field, you s and you're aiming as a middle point between the group of enemy, uh, some people use thermal scopes on RPG. You can save m multiple uh, settings in your scope, uh -huh. uh, for example, for different rifles, for different weapons. Once it's set for you, yes. it's set for you. Yes, if you can, for example, no, if you have multiple weapons in your group, you can use one scope for all kind of uh, weapons. For machine course, gun, for, for AR-10. For Every for... scope has to be used with one person, regularly, if it's possible. You joined the army in March, correct? February. Feb uh, at the first hours of and the Russian invasion. How long into the war was it until you got thermal? Uh, since one month I took my money yeah. from my home. And uh, after the first uh, time on Sumer, where is a lot of uh, forests and lots of uh, uh, bush, a lot of fields, uh, water surfaces, I understood that uh, it's much, it's it's very dangerous to pass through the fields, through the bush, through the forest without uh, detecting scopes, without night vision, without thermal scopes, uh, because you you may uh, step on mine, for yes. example, you may uh, meet uh, enemy infantry, and if you have a thermal scope, you, you can just check the bush. So dust, mud, water, I bought it for it cost three thousand dollars. It's not a cheap one. Uh, but now it's much 
easier and uh, to buy some good scopes and cheaper than in the in the beginning of the war because in the beginning of the war all the scopes were costing too much because of the deficit it was hard to find it was hard to buy lots of shops were closed because no one knew what will happen tomorrow it, especially because of the russians they have a lot of uh, thermal scopes now uh, we find that we, we often find them on the Russian positions. That's why it's uh, China helps Russia a lot. And it's not for everybody thermal. He has to prove this. Yes, the soldier has to prove firstly. He has to prove that he will use it. That he will that not. That he wants to learn. Yeah, he wants to learn. He wants to uh, raise his efficiency with it. So it's uh, has not. It's not for the. Uh, it's just for the front lines. It's bad when such uh, expensive things that people are buying together for the soldiers are, are lying on the shelf and not doing job for them. Krakens and SSO and yes. people who come for one day, but not for... They look very expensive, yes. Those, those people look expensive, but... Yes, there are a lot of good, good soldiers in those uh, battalions, but... We, uh, in Poroskabivka, we had this brutal situation when uh, the Kraken group came for a few hours. They get machine guns, like mine. They had uh, much more expensive thermal scopes called Archers, Ukrainian production. Yes. One scope cost nearly 15,000 dollars. One scope. Every one of them. They had perfect ammo, perfect. Life vest, uh, war belts, better than uh, Americans. Uniform. They were uh, look. They were looking like uh, star troops. Actually. But they came to our position, and they would start shooting tracers. Two or three days after we had uh, burned in hell, because our positions were uh, detected. They uh, and uh, they they made a big big math because of that. But the guys who stayed paid the price. Yes, a, we, we had to pay the price, the guys who stayed. And those guys, they just shoot a good, nice TikTok. They made a, it's a, they made a content for yeah. them. It looks great for uh, for people from the, for, for the ordinary citizens. It looks, looks great, but uh, for military, it's, it's a tragedy somehow. I understand. Someone let them come, I think, because of the corruption. And we had problems with that. All the facilities are working. Everywhere in Russia. They are producing a lot of uh, military uh, specified goods and electronics. Scopes, war economy. Polymer, it's war uh, economy. Yes, it's war economy. Uh, our management, we have a leak of management, especially in our, and uh, our economy is, uh, it's devastating, we are devastated, there is less work, people are leaving, well, actually my native town, people do not feel that war. People are living on an ordinary life. They like open, you. they open business. They go to the restaurants. They go to the cafeterias. Uh, no one, uh, let's say, pays attention to that. Uh, United States and Europe is given to us. Yeah, they help us, but it looks very similar to the Second World War when there was. Uh, the help was just enough for the moment, so the war could, be, could keep going, keep going for long lasting. Of course, uh, in the future we will have more weapons, more. But in here, in the front, we don't actually at this moment we do not uh, feel uh, that uh, that help because it's not that enough. Guided missiles, drones, scopes, that can help. Especially guided missiles. We need so if there is not enough help with the massive weapons, maybe we need to help our infantry so it can actually... Uh, 
infantry will finish it war. The rocket could not capture just like the every land. war. Yes. Berlin. If the infantry will finish this war, so we have to help infantry. Because Russia Russian soldiers are well equipped, they're equipped perfectly. They're fixing that positions and we are not fixing well that well. We need to keep going, but something, but our, uh, but we have problem with them moving forward. We we'll just stop. You know, there is such a rumor. Don't be afraid of growing slowly or winning slowly. Be afraid of standing still. Uh, we are standing still now. The front is degrading from day to day. Uh, I also was in Proskovivka, central Proskovivka, there is a railways. Mm -hmm. I was lying in the night under the, under the cold wind, it was min minus 18. I was lying nearly six hours on that railway, so I was so cold. And when you come back to your uh, to your place, to abandoned house, the cold is all, also there. No wind, but cold. We were substituted. So we hold the grounds, we prepared the positions, we we uh, buried the trenches. Yes. And after that, they said the new, new brigade is coming because our brigade do not have the heavy weapons. We are the territory defense. The territorial defense usually do not have any heavy uh, armory. From the land lease M72, 84, and 84. And RPGs, but it was not enough. Actually, uh, we needed artillery and we have a leak of artillery, we had a leak of shells, we have a leak of no normal uh, artillerists. Because what is it? You, you, you study for two weeks for being an artillerist. He will not be effective. Sometimes he, he can even shoot your trenches. It's dangerous. How, how, how many days were you in the pocket in Pereskoivka? And what day did you did you go up the hill and leave? Twelve days, twelve or fourteen days, two weeks. A lot of injured soldiers. I don't know. Some people on this war they live with the process of war. I live with the victory. Some people actually they are satisfied to live this life. I'm not. War is not for me, actually. I am family man. I like, like my home, actually. Actually, I don't have even much friends. Usually job and house, job and house. I Actually, I have only one real friend in my life. It's my wife. Yeah. Through the years, through the different uh, situations, I understood that uh, the only person who, whom I can call a real friend is my wife. Really appreciate any kind of help because you're, you, I, I still do not understand what is guiding you to come here. I think that this war is the, everything that was before until the Vietnam War was just a walk through the park. This war is just crazy massacre. So so many weapons are used. Guess. They use Russians even throw with the drones gas, Iprit, Fasgen, BZ, Chlorpicrine, cyanide. We had cyanide attack. They use any any kind of uh, weapons, even chemical weapons. They split on any rules. They are trying to terrorize, to scare, to terrorize, to... They are ignoring any moral. And when it will finish, I think Russians will be shocked, pretty shocked. Like the German people, German citizens. They will be shocked what they are supporting. When they learn the truth. Yes. Well, actually, they, were be they are believing that there are something special in this world. A special nation. For the 33 to 40% that watch my videos to the very end, I have a treat for you. I want to introduce you to someone, someone very special. Masa, come on, come to Papa. <laughs> this is Masa.
Many of you have heard of her, some have seen pictures of her, and she's my best friend. She always has been. Um, I'm here for four to six weeks to travel around, to speak at different events, to try to solicit more support, maybe on a higher level. Um, even Masa has done her part for the war. When someone asked me, okay, someone asked me if they'd make a chevron for me. You know, what do you want, an AK, you know, a Ukraine TBIC, a Javelin? I said, no, I want my dog. I want my dog. See, I'm not, I'm like Maxime, I didn't want this war. You know what I mean? I, I got all that stuff out of me when I was younger. Um, I just, I just want to see every Russian dead or out of Ukraine and full restoration of interior territorial integrity and then I want to come home to Masa.